The following video will show you how to create a one needle brush stroke with a corner and a two needle brush stroke with a corner. The first thing we need to do is create a boundary box that will be the size, finished size of your brush stroke. I usually try and keep my brush strokes as close as possible to the finished size as I can. So the size that would most suit, that would suit most of my drawings. To do this, I make my brush strokes in general two millimeters square. So what I need to do first is select the rectangle tool, come to the work area, click onto the work area and create a rectangle two millimeters tab by two millimeters. OK. I'll zoom up to this by going to my zoom tool and marking over the area that I need to see. At the moment it has a white fill and a black stroke. I'm going to remove the white fill and remove the black stroke and you can see what I'm doing. I'm bringing toggling between fill and stroke and I'm going to put a color in the rectangle. The next thing I want to do is create a line. I select the line segment tool. Again click onto the work area I want my line to be one millimeter length and 180 degrees, so a horizontal line, no fill, OK. So what you can see here is a line without a fill or a stroke in it. I'll bring the stroke to the front and put a fill in that. I'd like my line also to have a round cap on each side. To do this I need to go back to my selection tool, open up the stroke panel and select round cap. So you can see what that did, that added a round cap to that line. If I deselect it by going to one a butt cap, it goes back to what I had originally. So a round cap. Select both the line and the rectangle or the square and center align it, horizontal center align and vertical center align. Deselect. Once you've aligned the brush stroke and the center of the square, select both the line and the square again. I'm holding the space bar to move across and pressing the Alt key I copy those two again and I'm holding Shift just to keep them aligned. It's not necessary but it's a habit. Select that line that you've created, go to Rotate in the toolbox, start to rotate that line, hold Alt to copy it and shift to copy it 90 degrees. Deselect. Now what I want to do over here is create a corner um, a corner tile. So I need to have a corner for my one needle stroke. Direct selection. I select that anchor point. Control K takes me to keyboard increment and I'm going to make that point five. OK. With my arrow I nudge that down. Direct selection and nudge the left hand anchor point to the right or to the center. Now select both the background rectangles and remove the color. So I bring the swatch to the front and I remove the color forward slash to get rid of that. To be safe what I do is marquee over the corner brushes, the corner lines and the corner rectangle and I group them. Go to my swatches, rest my mouse, my selection tool on the path, click and drag it into the swatches panel deselect. 
double click that swatch you've just created and call that one needle corner swatch or corner just so that you can recognize it when we go into the brush strokes select the straight line brush stroke tile that you created so I've got both the tile and the line the rectangle and the line selected I come up to the little paint pot over here brushes new brush so that corner tile that corner the square with the corner folded back new pattern brush okay and what comes up is the tile that you've selected the side tile comes up in the side tile box I'm going to call it one needle with corner I'll move to the outer corner tile and select my corner tile inner corner tile select my corner tile colorization will be tints so that I can change the color of the brush stroke when I use it and OK and there you have the brush stroke so if I zoom out a little control minus spacebar to move and I draw a rectangle and put my brush stroke in so my stroke is yellow and therefore my brush is yellow my stitches are yellow if I change the stroke color because I've used tints it changes the stitch color so that's the one needle brush stroke with a corner complete